Getting started with Nuxt is super easy, especially if you have NPM or Yarn already installed. So if you have NPM later than 5.2 installed, you can run what's called NPX, and we can check if we've got that by running version, and I do. So now I can say NPX create Nuxt app, and then put in the name of our project, which will be learning Nuxt. Now you can also use Yarn as well. So we could say, for example, Yarn create, Nuxt dash app, and then the name of the project, which in this case is learning Nuxt. So let's run that. And it's gonna ask us some questions. So the project name learning Nuxt, I think that's pretty good. Let's learn Nuxt can be the project description. Luke Diebold for my name. I reckon we'll use Yarn in this. And for the UI framework, how cool is this? We've got all these frameworks that we can take advantage of and Nux will set it up for us. But we're gonna choose none in this video. We're gonna go vanilla. We're not going to use a custom server framework. We will use Axios. We're not going to use any of the linting tools and we don't need to use a test framework. Now in this series, we're going to start off using the universal server-side rendering option, but just know that there's a lot of similarities between the universal option and the single page app option. So let's go universal. Oh, and one more question. Yes, I'm going to get it to generate a jsconfig.json because I'm using Visual Studio Code. That just helps your code editor play nice with Nuxt. Let's get this going. All right, so to get started, we're going to CD into learning Nuxt. And then we're going to run yarn dev. But first I'm going to open this in code. So I'm going to say code dot to open this directory in code. Open up our console, zoom in a little bit so you can all see, and then whack in yarn dev. Now, if we control click here, our app is all ready to go. And look, we get this awesome little animation here. <laughs> I love that. So before I finish this video, I just want to give you a little bit of a taste of what Nuxt can do. And this is one of my favorite things about Nuxt. If we create a new file under the pages directory and we call it about.view, and then we just whack in a really simple template there. So something like this with a div, and we call this the about page. Now, if we go into the browser and we say slash about, we get that page and it works straight away. How cool is that? So what Nux is doing is it's automatically creating all of the routing for us based on this directory in here, which is really cool. If you're used to using view router, you're probably used to doing stuff like this, having an array with objects for your routes. And in this case, it might be path. And then you'd say slash about something like that. And then you'd have to give it a component as well. So we'd have to say, uh, about dot view and find that component, which, you know, it's a little bit of manual work that really isn't necessary when you're using Nuxt because it just bases it on your directory structure in pages. How cool is that? So the last thing we'll do is go to index dot view and I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff in the middle here. We'll keep the container and then we'll put in here ready to go. Save that. And now if we go back to our index page, we're ready to go. I'm so excited to share Nuxt with all of you. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Stay tuned because you've only got a tiny taste of the power and ease that Nuxt can offer you as a web developer. See you in the next video.